if you're configuring your DHCP server, you may be asked to create a DHCP scope. A scope is effectively a grouping of IP addresses for a particular section of your network. And each subnet tends to have its own scope. So if you have 10 subnets, you generally also have 10 scopes. And you can see an example of this where I might have a scope for 192.168.1.0, 192.168.2.0, and the 192.168.3.0 subnets. Now a scope can also be this contiguous pool as well. You generally, it's required to make it a contiguous pool of addresses. And then you would create exceptions inside of that if you wanted to statically assign an IP address, for example. There are also other things that you can put inside of these DHCP scopes, things like the subnet mask or the duration of the lease. And there are other options that you can define within a DHCP scope, things like your DNS server, your default gateway, your Win server, and then other types of variables as well. Here's an idea of what you might see if you were configuring a scope on a DHCP server. This is from my 2008 R2 server. And I've got running inside of that server a DHCP server. And you can set up different scopes inside of that server that have different settings associated with them. So as you're thinking about how you're going to deploy DHCP in your environment, you might also think about all of the different subnets and how each individual scope might be created for each one of those subnets.